All right, all right, all right. Here we are again with another playthrough with uh, Distant Kingdoms. You know, I wanted to go ahead and kind of jump back up in here. You know, I did have a good time uh, playing it through my first playthrough there. You know, it was actually pretty fun. I mean, we got off to a kind of a rough start there and um, kind of had to restart a little bit because I was kind of built too many buildings right off the bat. So I didn't really build all the necessary things that I should have built towards the quest. To kind of accumulate the gold and i was running out of money and i couldn't build a marketplace and without the marketplace i couldn't make the money so but yeah we're off to a good start here and i just want to kind of go ahead and play some more and put a couple more hours into it and you know see if we can get our uh, orcish kingdom here span upon that maybe we can get some more uh, like i don't know i feel like i could probably get a couple other the other um, races in there as well like the dwarves and the elves and the humans too but We'll have to see because there's, you know, mix and match of things. I don't know if we can span on that because some of the tech trees require certain things from other of the other races like dwarves. I think I need the dwarves to make uh, beer or something like that. So we'll have to. So I'm thinking that we probably will be able to span on that too. So we'll have to see how that goes. But yeah, I really want to kind of jump in here and get going because i you know like i said it is it is fun I and mean, i'm i'm an actual i'm actually really enjoying it so uh let's see let's load the game i just did a new save and here we are let's get this going as you can see here you can get this little magic manic tower here i'm not really sure 100 percent on what we need that man mana for but um, I guess we'll find out soon, but yeah, there's kind of like cosmetic things you can do here, really decorate the town up. Haven't really got into that because it requires, you know, a little bit of money, but I think once things roll, we'll start pulling in some more money and stuff like that through taxiing our, you know, villagers and stuff like that, getting them up to citizens and stuff. So, yeah. <clears throat> Takes a little bit of a load time here. And here we are. Now, I didn't really get to name my town or anything, my kingdom, but you can name your districts and your markets and markets and things. What is it? Citizens tier. Watch out, though. Yeah. So apparently, if you get into citizens, they're gonna start fires now. I don't know why, but we built the citizens right here. It's a little more noisier once you get in there. Oh, wow. Okay, that's different. That wasn't like that before. Now you can kind of hear some sound effects. It's kind of loud. Tone it down just a little bit. The audio can be kind of loud in here, but let's save that. Hopefully now it's not too quiet, but we'll see. Oh no, no, no. Go back, go back. Alright, so we kinda left off here building this uh little stone thing here. So that'll be accumulating some more stone for us so we can start upgrading our citizens, but we definitely with the Citizens, I guess they're kind of rowdy and they may start some fire. So we got to figure out what it is We need for the fire station, which is basically a mid-density citizen house. We got one. We need ten. So we need more of them So hmm, where do we want to go? We also need the mana well too. So that's where we're kind of getting into the mana well making things on that for mana Required residents, we need a bunch of residents for them. Wait, is that a school? That's a school. We're not even looking the right thing. Where's the the fire uh, fire station? I don't see it. Wine, cider, beer. See, like, right here. We need a dwarven encampment in order to make uh, beer. So that tells me right there, and then the human encampment for this as well to make cider so that kind of tells me right there that we're 
going to have access to them eventually, but I'm not sure uh, when and how. Wait, did I already unlock the? I already unlocked the fire station, so we probably should focus on that. Let's build one of those. Where is the firefighter station? We do have enough. Ooh, it does take quite a bit of money. Um, but we're gonna. Oh, and a lot of stone too. Ooh, it's pretty expensive, but I feel like we're gonna need it. And then now I notice that ring there is what this is gonna cover. And. I think put it right in the center will probably do the best. That'll be the best right there, I think, because that way it covers everything in this area. So once we start upgrading towards the um, citizens, we have that on hand. So they did the game did warn me to build it, so I'm building it. So we'll see. Um, When the fire breaks out, I guess. Hopefully no fires break out. It's going to take 150 wood and 120 stone. We got plenty of wood. It's just really we're kind of short on the stone. It's going to take pretty much all our stone, but with this in place now, it will help out a little bit. But they're so far away. It's going to take a while to accumulate. I don't even know where they're putting the stone. I think they're putting it in this one. Yeah, if you're down to 79, so we're, we're getting it back pretty quick. So it won't take too long to accumulate that back up. So we do have a mana well, so we're out of stone. Um, I thought, I think we unlocked, what do we unlock here? We unlocked the animal farm, which will then, let's see, we need 130 stone for that as well. Mm-hmm. And that's going to have access to certain things there where we can now get basically basic clothing is which what they're going to need for citizens. And then we can start doing this. We need a bunch of citizens and residences as well, so we can upgrade. We need what, six? A windmill. Oh yeah, we can start. I have a windmill over there, it's fine. Um, I think we're kind of already upgraded most of our buildings. This area here is kind of like our slums. We can start upgrading our um, buildings here. And get six more people in. So each one of these is two. But it also requires some stone to do so. We kind of need... Let's see, upgrading the citizens is pretty much free. But they're going to need some basic needs, so we're going to have to get this first and start making some whiskey. And what do we need exactly for the whiskey? Let's see. Whiskey, we just need citizens. Okay, so we can at least get the eggs rolling in first. So let's get, we'll focus on, you know, we need 20. So we're going to have to do it eventually without the needs. So we should be all right. But we need 80 people so we need to start upgrading some of these houses so we need six people when each house will get um two so we can go ahead maybe we can make some houses that's 10 wood and 30 crescents or we can do uh ba, 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 ba. this is 25 five stone i kind of want to save the stone for now so let's just build a little bit more houses here over on this area i 
wish there was a, a way we can keep them out. I wonder if I... There we go. Hold and shift. Boom. We'll put that there. Build a nice little road there. And I think now what we'll do... We start doing our explorations here. Let's open this up here. Uh, we need to... Let's do the... Let's edit this party. So I think we can have up to four. And it's hey, we already have this person in our party. He's back again. Yeah. Orwin, Orwin, Grell, Orwin, Grell. When we have this person here, what is this? This character has an impressive need and ability to take what they probably shouldn't. All right, so they're a thief. Let's hire them. This one there, and it gives us three. So I don't know really like how crucial their levels are and and the, like the party sizes on what and where like where they're really going to. I haven't really seen the need of like any of like fighting or any that nature like certain levels. It's just literally they just go out here and they pretty much unlock this area and they'll level up and then that's pretty much it so right there boom we have this whole area now and uh, the returning to the tavern exploring idle confrontation so I don't know what these really mean monthly upkeep is nine I don't know if we even really see them on the map either, but they're returning and they unlock some stuff over here. So what do they unlock? Do we get another stone? That'd be awesome. Well, there's iron, so we'll eventually probably will run into that and need that. Coal, okay. And that's it, huh? I was really hoping for more. Oh, it's this. There's some stone right back there. So we can get, invest in that. We're going to need a lot of stone, I feel, I feel like. So let's go ahead and get some stone. Uh, stone mine. Then we can afford that. Now our upkeep's gonna go up, so we got some houses coming. So hopefully, with the new with the new houses and residents coming in, uh, let's go just straight there, straight there. Uh, with the new houses and everything coming in, we should get more people, which we already do. Whoa. Joking over here. All right. Hmm. Okay. So I'll help us bring in more stone there. And we, sh we should be all right with our couriers. Because each building will spawn a courier, depending on how many couriers are allowed. And we want to keep an eye on that because we can upgrade this, but we need tools, so we can't really do that just yet. Where are my... Uh, here they are. So we have supported eight. Pending requests is... See, right here we got two so far in progress. Pending, pending, pending. So we're starting to kind of... Um, run out a little bit. In the sense of um, couriers, see all these jobs right here are just pending right now. We got four that are just pending, which tells me that we're going to need four more couriers. But we can't really do that. We can't upgrade these buildings anymore. So the only way to really kind of prevent or to fix that problem is to get more another warehouse up. 
Yeah, see, we're... I would like to see, you know, the jobs being in progress as soon as they come up. Rather than... So they're going to have to come here, drop it off, and then go back, you know, go there. Which may not be an issue, really, because, I mean, these will accumulate over time. There's already four there. So it should be all right for now, and then we're going to have this one up shortly. Let's check out our... Um, are we bringing in money? I know we spent money, but are we bringing in some money? We are, even with what I... My maintenance cost is... One uh, venture wages. What is it? Beer cat charges. Hmm. How's that? One thirty-six. We're making one fifty-six. Not bad. So we're still up nineteen. So we're, we're making money still. That's good. That's good to see. How many? We got six firemen, fire people. Fire orcs. <laughs> let's, let's check this out. Look at this thing. I do like the building designs on this. This does look really cool. I'm not really sure what these mean. I'm thinking... A commission, a citizen commissioner. Oh, I need a commissioner. So we're basically running low on staff. That's what that means. We need more people to work here. We need another commissioner. Hmm. Yeah, orcs will increase the operating radius. So yeah, you definitely want the orcs uh, operating the um, firehouse. And the maintenance cost is minus one. Well, that's good. Well, there's four citizens there. What are the other two doing? Or three? What are the other three doing? Are they like working another job or something? How do you know? So I think I can actually have us do. Now we got that in place. Let's upgrade them. Let's upgrade it and get more citizens in, citizens in there. And then we'll probably should be able to fill that row. Yeah, it, did, it, it went away. There we go. And increase the radius by 50. So that should... Yeah, it's going to cover a lot. Why are those green? Hmm. Not sure why those would be green or not. But they are. Cool. Alright, that filled that up. And then that gives us a little more money, too. Oh, here we go. We just hover over that, and I'll tell us. Let's see. Net charge this month, zero. Last month was 19. Received from tax last month was 156. So we made 156 from taxes, but our maintenance building is minus 116. Cool. Five out of six citizens. Available jobs. Oh, okay, we got. Ten, ten. Hmm. Employment status. We got 44 out of 74 people <laughs> that do not have. Okay, no, we have 30 people that do not have a job yet. Because all the jobs are full. Everyone has a job, but 30 people do not. Oh, wait. We have 82 people now. Alright, I think we might be able to unlock something now. Can we unlock... We just need an animal farm. Alright, let's see if we can get one of those. Where should we put the animal farm? Hmm... Hmm, 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 hmm. We can put a way out here. 
It won't be covered by the fire department, but I don't know if that would matter. Until it does. But that's going to bring in... Well, let's see. Oops. I'm trying to think where I want to put this at, because I could put it there and then kind of build the or maybe here and build the production stuff like the tailor and stuff right there which would be kind of close because the berries are going there <laughs> right, yeah, no, this is not one. I'm doing an, uh, a Thursday stream today. Yes, that is correct. Um, I just, yeah, I just feel like I just want to continue playing the game and hop in there and just do like a one off and, uh, you know, keep going. So, didn't really have much going on. So, I figured, you know what, we'll keep, we'll just keep going on playing uh, Distant Kingdom some more. <clears throat> Uh, I'm trying to figure out where I want to put this, though. Yeah, no, definitely is. I built a little more right here. We've got some citizens over there. And I think I'm going to put that right there. coming along really nice actually I'm trying to get um, a farm going which I just built but I need to get like chickens and stuff like that so I can fill their needs here um, or the citizens right here because they need eggs they want eggs and clothes and whiskey but I can't do whiskey yet because whiskey needs a bunch of citizens so but I got a um, the game kind of warned me about fires citizens might create more fires so I guess they're kind of a rowdy little bunch so I built a firehouse right there And a couple more stone pillars. Why is this not being built? Hmm. Wonder, because this is probably too far. Oh, yeah, it is too far. It's out of bounds. Okay. How's this going to work? I'm going to get the wood over there. <laughs> um, there's a bunch of it there. So well, if I wonder, because I, I know, like I see the ring right here, right? It's, it's hard to see, but it's like right there. It goes right there and it's out of range. So I don't know. Hmm, probably have to build another one. Let's build this road over here. Small warehouse, and we could put it... Oh, okay, there we go. That's what it kind of covers. Everything in the green. I can't really build over there. That's the edge of the map. So I guess right here would be good. Maybe right there.
Yeah, it's definitely coming along really nice. All right, we got this now. Whoa. So what does this do? What do we do with this? Animal farm. We got an animal farm now. We just can't. Hmm. All right, so we needed that. For this. Now we just need 20 citizens. All right, congratulations. You're all becoming citizens. Hopefully this doesn't affect anything. Did that do it? That did it. I did just 36. Oh boy. <laughs> well, hopefully that wasn't too much. We got that now. What else can we do? I think we can do something else. We need a tool maker. It's a medium warehouse. But we need tools right here. No. Tool maker. We can do that. Tool maker manufacturing the finest tools of the trade. There we go, now we can do our whiskey, right? Yeah. Got that done. We see, I need to figure out how to get a dwarven encampment. That's what I really need to do. I don't know. Because then I can start making beer. Unless that's just not something I can have access to, which kind of be a bummer. And we can do that too. Oh, we unlocked everything. We need more citizens for that. <laughs> All right, our maintenance is 134. That was last month. Let's see what we get this month. Let's see if we're bringing in money. Mm. Yeah, we're at 164. Mm. All right, in 15. <laughs> yeah, just uh, sparkling water, which is not too bad. A mango, a mango sparkling water. It's actually pretty good. <clears throat> it's probably like my favorite one, though. Like most of them, I'm not a fan of, but that one I like. We got a bunch of stone now. Man, okay, we're racking up stone. I just got to figure out this, though. So they're going to bring in stone there. Or, okay, here we go. Or wood there now. So I'm assuming they probably just go to the whatever the closest one is. I wish you can actually pick which one they go to. Or, oh, here we go. Select goods will no longer be stored here or moved to other warehouses. Oh. Selected goods will no longer. So if I click one, I click whatever I don't want here. What I want stone there. Um. Definitely want wood. Yeah, I guess that's pretty good. Uh, let's not put the grain there. Oh no, I guess. I really don't know what 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 the no. Let's not put grain there. Where is the grain? 
We want flour there either. We don't want grain. Just keep wood there. To be honest, I don't want to. I don't really want grain to go here either. Or flour. Or wood. Where is it at? There it is. I pretty much want to keep this one. I want to select everything for now. I want the iron to go there because I'll put some iron there. We're going to keep this one for like the minerals. Hey, you made it to the end of the video. I really appreciate it and want to thank you for taking your time to watch the video. If you would like to see more content like this, please let me know in the comments below. Also, liking the video will help me know as well. I stream over at Twitch TV slash eBag01. I would love for you to come over and hang out with me. Anyways, that is that. I will talk to you all.